Well, it's been raining a lot, eh? Still here, Swiss, eh? So look at this, this is the place I used to sleep. I filmed the, uh, that video with the assault rifle explaining how the, uh, the Christchurch massacre it is definitely is, is a, a video. They made the mistake with the hands. Uh, the video is on my um, Ahava channel. So if I would have been sleeping here, I used to, my head is exactly where the tree is. This is why I used to have my tent. Right, sorry for that. Here yeah, on this, here my feet, like, and here my head. Um, could have been game over for me, eh? And I, I was filming the one from the uh, with the uh, with the scar rifle. Uh, I filmed it like from here. I, I had put the camera in here in the tree, and I filmed it from here. So now there's a big tree, you probably recognize it, like this tree here and this one here. And I would have been dead. I already had massive trees like this one, you know, just falling next to me, not very far. With an in incredible sound that makes, hey, when it's falling down like next to you. Um, a real peacemaker tree, eh? Uh, or a haymaker. <laughs> Yeah, here from the other side. So last night when I came here, or a couple of nights back, I slept here. And all this here, a lot of t a lot of ticks. And uh, yeah, lucky again. I'm eh? still here, homie Ross. Ah, oh, it was raining last night, so I slept in here. There was an old guy in the McDonald's who uh, who told me about this place here. So. McDonald's is there, so I slept in here because of the corona. Ah, there's Sean, he's calling me. Oh, this is where I slept again. And uh, someone gave me a bicycle. Don't know how to take it with me. And uh, look, this is all from the garbage can from the Aldi supermarket. Chicken for the barbecue. Yeah. Look at that. This is this. It's full. This is this is where those poor animals where they die for. Look at that. This is where they die, where they suffer for, and then end up here in the. Well, what am I going to do with it? Huh? I thought the guy from the bicycle, you know, we're gonna, we were gonna cook it like. And it just disappeared. So called fan of my videos. A liar, you know. A lot of. A lot of bad people and liars are attracted to my videos somehow, you know. Uh, a lot of selfish people. Uh, uh, why should I go on, you know? They're both bad. Pharaoh's bad, the slaves are bad, they're all bad. Right? Uh, look at that. That's what the animals they suffer for, you know. Just just thrown away. Yeah, look, this is the castle, Chateau d'Estaing, he has his coat of arms. Fleur de Lis. And uh, that's the president. The president and his castle, you know? Pharaoh, the aristocracy is still ruling. Yeah, it's the 11th century, the year 1000, it's always the same. Yeah. Well, I think this is uh, Elysee, you know? he did the first G6. Um, re reunion in the world in the um, the Chateau of Rambouillet, the Castle of Rambouillet. 
So now it's all in Davos, Switzerland. So here's the castle. And it says here from the 11th century. That's around the year 1000, as usual. Look here. There's a square and a circle. Square and compass. Or squaring the circle. Here, this is the place where it's at, Estang. Now you can read it. It's in French. Old pictures. There's the river. I don't know what the name is. It. Of it is uh, Alois, I think, something like that. The king. The, fresh, the, the president king in the 70s. And uh, under his reign, the minister Boulin, he was a good guy, he got killed. He was sacrificed, ritually sacrificed in the, uh, the forest of Rambouillet. So how is it possible, you know, the president living in a castle like this? Just like Trump living in his castle, you know, it's still the same thing, eh? Nothing has changed. Hello people, this is what I wanted to film for you since a very long time. So now I finally did it. It's a place called Estang. There even is a little river here. And this guy, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, he was the president of France. And he has, he's having this castle here. He was the president in the 70s. When they murdered the, the French minister Boulin, where I went filming for you, next to where this little lake was. So this is what I've been telling you all the time, that today's politics is still by the aristocracy. And they're still living in castles. Apparently Macron, the president now, he's, um, he's from a line of, uh, he's a prince of Andorra which is a country between France and Spain, Andorra. And, uh, and his wife of uh, Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, was the president in the 70s. She's from a real line of French kings. It's a bit, a lot of traffic, so I have to find a better place for you. Well, the king found himself a real nice place, eh? So actually the wife of the president of Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, she's from a real line of French kings and queens. And uh, I don't even know if there were, no, there were no queens, only kings. And uh, so this whole story they made about it, you know, because the friends were thinking like, oh, wow, well, wh why did we do that revolution? I mean, we got a king back on the, uh, being the president in Paris, yeah? The president over France. So they made a whole story about it, that he bought his title and he got, he bought the whole castle. Uh, but of course, an aristocrat, you know, you, um, you can't just buy a castle like this unless you're a real aristocrat. So, of course, a woman from a real line of kings, you would never have married just a bloke like this, you know, and except it is, you know, to have the castle and um, to have him have uh, the, the title like this, you, you wouldn't even have married just another a bloke who would not be an aristocrat. So that's quite clear, eh? So they just made the whole story, they just lied it around it, you know, he could prove by his ancestry that he is from a line of, uh, a real aristocrat in any case, yeah. And uh, so they gave him the title, which, and it's probably his own title anyway, you know. But okay, you know, through the, through the year 1000, it's, you know, and revolution and all that. Uh, there was a lot of turmoils and, but, I mean, they knew each other, you know, they, they, they kept the, uh, the license going, you know, and this is why they finally invented Freemasonry, so they can all know each other. 
So, I mean, this guy was the president and he killed under his reign a real good French guy, Boulin, the minister, he was murdered. You know? So only these ones are in power, just like the, the president of today. <clears throat> Nothing has changed. You know, the, uh, the king is still ruling. Pharaoh is still ruling. Nothing has changed. Hopefully Homie Ross will change something with this here, right? We all know now there was no French Revolution, which was merely a transition from the vertical old world order to the horizontal new world order. But anyway, with this aristocrat and his wife being a direct descendant of the French kings, living in their castle in Estaing, becoming the president of France from 1974 to 1981. The French must have thought to have done the French Revolution for nothing. So their media knitted some story around it, that President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, whom you can see here, had bought his aristocratic title, which is in fact impossible, as you may only acquire an arist aristocratic title if you're one of them. And his wife, Anne Mon of Giscard d'Estaing, the king president, she's from a real line of French kings, or she would never have married a non-nobleman, of course. And I'll look at her name here, Anne Mon, you know, Amon, Amun. Just remember this, focus on this name, and I'll tell you more about it. The king president and ex-president of France died last year, December 2020. The second name of the wife of the king president in his castle, Anne Amon, comes et etymologically from the sun god Amun, Amon. Here you can see it. This is the name of her husband, Giscard d'Estaing. It's, it's the nobility. And An Amon. Amon Amun. Amon Amun. Remember, the aristocracy, they come from Pharaoh. And her full name, An Amon, is a reference to Anke Sen Amun. An Amon. Anke Sen Amun. An Amon, Anke Sen Amun, Anke Sen Amun, the wife of Pharaoh Tutank Amun. And they know it, people, therefore the similar names. An Amon, Anke Sen Amon. Therefore, Pharaoh Macron married a mummy as his presidential spouse while exercising yet another appetite away from the necrophilia of his presidential mummy. Under Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, the uh, king president, many people got assassinated, like his minister Robert Boulin, also in 1979. At exactly the very same time, in 1979, when the president's dear friend, the Emperor Bokassa of the Central African Republic, had hundred children massacred, in which he even participated. So you see, this is the Emperor Bokassa. It's a real picture, people. This is real. And this is, of course, a falcon. It's all pharaonic. This is the sun. He thinks he's the pharaoh. It's all in white and red of the white and the red house of Pharaoh and gold like the capstone. And remember how the African kings, they took their own people and put them in chains to sell them to the, uh, to the, the Knights Templar slave drivers. Uh, it was the African kings who did that themselves because they're all Pharaohs. And the ships, they belong to the uh, Swiss, mostly. I made a video about it. So here's the 
the real story about it. You can read it. So here is the King President of France, uh, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, where I went filming the castle to, you know, to give you the evidence that the aristocracy, they, they, they are the presidents of today. And this is his spell, another pharaoh, Emperor Bukasa of the Central African Republic, whom you just could see just before. Yeah. The story of Giscard d'Estaing's fascination for Emperor Bukasa's diamonds. And so, you're going to read the whole story. Uh, just punch pause. So, here, according to a commission of inquiry consisting of five senior African jurists sent into the country in the wake of revelations by Amnesty International of the murder of children, riots in Bengui, the capital city, were suppressed with great cruelty by the security forces. And in April 1979, there we got it again, the same date, the same date when Minister Boulin, you just saw his picture, I went, you know, doing my investigations there in the video, I slept at the place where you saw in black and white the body, the corpse of the minister, I slept there two nights in the rain. In 1979, they found him there. About a hundred children were massacred at the order of Emperor Bukasa who almost certainly participated in the killings. And there was, there was a good pal of the King President of France, you know, who was like living, who was living until last year, 19, uh, 2020, in a castle. Here, there's no good reason to doubt eyewitness reports that he kept pieces of his victims in his refrigerator and feasted on them in private orgies. You know, the aristocracy have always been doing things like this. And Pharaoh as well. It all comes from Pharaoh. It all comes from Pharaoh. Yeah, some were bayoneted or beaten to death. You know, children. Can you imagine children? I, this, these are the type of people who are ruling over us, you know. Same going on today, like, you know, Jeffrey Epstein. And here... Um, there were documents proving that Giscard had accepted the present of diamonds from Bocasa, today's value about one million US dollars, you know. The guy had to buy his castle, you know, or had needed to have it renovated. And um, so Bocasa had um, the, uh, the French uh, king president he gave him a 3,000 square mile hunting preserve, you know, where he could shoot elephants, giraffes, and even the rare white rhino. And then back in France, you know, you know, putting on his nice face and pretending to be, you know, like uh, we have to protect the wildlife in, uh, in Africa, together with the other pal, you know, the Prince of Darkness, the Prince Bernhard who also went like hunting elephants in Africa. They all do it, even the, the king of Spain as well, in his Zarzuela castle and, you know, terrorizing the, uh, the Catalan people because they want their freedom. These are the type of people who we are being ruled by. Bunch of pedophiles and child murderers, you know. Well... You can read the whole thing yourself. It's a serious, this is serious people. You can you can find loads of articles about it from that time. Here's another article like from the New York Times, the same year, 1979. It all happened in that year, eh? Just punch pause if you want to read it. His name was uh, Jean Bedel Bocasa, Pharaoh of Africa. Can you imagine? They're all crooks and child molesters we're being ruled by, and now they want to keep us like inside. The diamonds were valued at that day in you know, a quarter of a million. Today it's one million, which you could just read before. The 
They want to keep us like uh, locked inside. Eh? Are we going to keep on, you know, accepting this? Come on, people. All this happened while the uh, French king president had taken a, a gift. Also in that year of 1979, in exchange, of course, for political favors. And the gift was a um, $1 million worth of African blood diamonds from the African emperor. And having his own personal 3,000 square mile hunting grounds in Africa, murdering elephants, giraffes, and even the rare white rhino. Well, that's what kings with castles love doing for a hobby, don't they now? like go fox hunting in Afghanistan in an Apache ground attack chopper, like this pharaoh prince here. Here, look, the king president, yeah, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, he even wrote a novel, a book, and uh, probably not about how many elephants he killed and what he did with the emperor and all the children got murdered and the diamonds. No, you know, they're presenting themselves as civilized people who smile so nice, who can wave like a queen, you know, and, and then at the end of their careers, they write a couple of books, how lovely they are and how they love the world. Hey, seen from above, from an Apache chopper, for instance. So, the French minister Boulin probably got a bit too loud criticizing the king president and his African affairs. So, he had to go. And also in the year 1979, which you can see in this video here when I did my investigations where he died. And this is why I put up my tent. Look, 10 views for the minister. What do you know? If he would have known, eh? And also the first G6 summit was held by the King President in 1975 in the castle of Rambouillet, where I went filming for you. Now they do them all in Switzerland, in Davos. I think chances are really high that the French King President here, together with his victim, that he pulled the plug on Diana. Yeah, look at their faces, you know. Yeah, look at them. Like, he's thinking like, okay, I got you now. And see, like, oh, I'm tired, you know, and the game is lost, you know, with all these creeps here. And this bloke here is probably thinking, okay, I already know how I'm going to set it up, eh? I wonder when, when the picture was taken. Maybe just a couple of days before, eh? Diana was assassinated in France, the home territory of the King President. And Lady Diana was politically active against landmines in Africa and protecting African children who were murdered by the hundreds by the Emperor of Africa and hunting pal of the King President of France and tangled together in all types of corruptions and crimes against humanity up to even eating children having his refrigerator stuffed with human flesh. And in these environments, amongst pharaohs, Lady Diana must have been a real nuisance, together with Minister Boulin, both murdered in Paris. His first name, Valéry, is of aristocratic origin, therefore assuming that Ri at the end comes from the pharaonic demotic, meaning the sun it says, and were important members of the aristocracy of that region. The surname Valéry. The King President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, he was also a Knight of Malta, as you can see here, and he probably visited the commandery of the Order of Malt, which I filmed for you recently. And his coat of arms shows the Roman faces for one for all and all for one, or where we go one, we go all, if you like. 
and he belonged to the order of Seraphim, Sar Ha Fim, for Sar meaning the King Pharaoh, because that's where they all come from. And what I've been trying to explain you all these years, that Pharaoh's nobility rules the world. Therefore, the president, living in an authentic medieval castle of his predecessors. Hello, Mr. President, with your castle. Hello, Pharaoh. Well, you guys are tricky, eh? Pretending to be the aristocracy while you're pharaohs. To, to pretend to be the president while you are still are the king and the aristocracy, eh? You're tricky guys. Oh, here's the castle. It says uh, Louis the Fourteenth. Ah, Louis the Fourteenth. He was confessing to this guy, Francois Anna. All right. Well, there he is. That's the name of that particular president to whom the castle belongs, and was from, well, at least his wife. He's a really aristocrat, and his wife is from a real line of French kings. Yeah, the castle of Estang property of Valérie Giscard d'Estaing and here's an email anyone wants to send them a mail and ask them uh, like the coat of arms of the town probably as well the concept of three which is them Fleur de Lys in blue for the war yeah send them a mail and ask them why he had the minister Bula murdered, hey? Because we all want to know that. I have to pay here, or I mean, it's nothing new to see, you know. The most interesting things that are from the outside, anyway, the coat of armors and all that. I don't want to go in anyway. I mean, that's not what I'm looking for, you know, I'm not looking for the things ordinary people are looking for, like, but these are the things, that's interesting. Uh, three things, which is them, the concept of three, so, ruling over the people, like. And it says here, our blood is here, the grail. Our descendants are here. What? Well, who's that? Well, he's a descendant of the French aristocracy, Giscard d'Estaing. Coat of arms, I don't know what it says. The world domination three times. They rule the entire world, people. So this is the, uh, the mayor's office, Marie. Equality, uh, um, liberty, equality, fraternity. Now I've told you it's only for them. It's not for us. It's the new system by the Knights Templars. Here's their coat of arms again. Three times for the concept of three. Ruling over the slaves. So, I mean, <laughs> it's still the same, you know, the mayor's office, it's still the same ones. And apparently, it's his brother who's still alive, who's the mayor, the brother of the ex-president. It's uh, still Pharaoh, eh? Pharaoh ruling. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
un pont au premier étage. So here the uh, the master is a hello, you know, just laughing at us, you know, spitting image like. Uh, last close-up shots of the castle. President of France having his own castle. Can you imagine? So I mean, this is the ultimate proof, eh? This is the ultimate proof. Still the same. So this is the mayor's office in uh, in Besançon. Um, look at the animal. There are the two pillars, Yashin and Boas. And this is not an eagle because an eagle doesn't hang in the in the air like that. You know, it circles around, and it's uh, more like horizontally. This one is only a falcon. It's like vertically hanging like this. So this is Horus. And uh, that's why there's this baby here, because that's the new man, you know, make a, if a man is 21 years old, you can't change him anymore, so if you start quite early and kill the fathers in all the wars, the Horus Matrix. It means the nation, the law. That means the mayor's office. And there's the sun Uruguay. It's all pharaonic. Oh, look at this table, eh? That goes very well with this bloke here. Hello, mate. I suppose you understand the uh, symbology on the, on the table, eh? Apparently, he's a prince of Andorra. And he particularly likes man. As a, a bloke already told me, it took me hitchhiking. And there it is again. Uh, that's a falcon. None of these birds is a uh, is an eagle. Uh, same thing as outside. Right. Now what that is? That's a tail. Ah, if it's a tail like this, it must be a phoenix that rose from the fire. The Templars did, hey. Eh? The phoenix rising from the fire. Yeah, this is the French resistance. Well, I didn't know there was any resistance. Look, there's only the women. Only women did the resistance. Well, there wasn't any resistance. Come on. No resistance. It's all a lie. It's only this here. That's the only thing. It's this and it's that. Homie Ross. And the tourist information. Now look people, the logo again, compass and the square and the horizontal lines standing for the horizontal rule, the new world order. And so it says square and compass in the right colors and even here's the concept of three in the red. That's where they come from, the, the, the red house, the Pertasse. That was the tram. It's all there, it's, it's, it's full of Symbology, our masters. Yeah, look at this one. There's the compass, the ball, the horizontal rule in red, because that's where they come from. But actually the horizontal rule should be in white. But here it means they come from where, where they come from. The old world's order, the aristocracy. But there's no square. Where's the square? Oh look, there it is, the square. They just put it there, you see? in blue for the war because it's a war against us we are the square we are the down at the pyramid and here considering the hierarchy here too there's the it's there's a line in the middle for the horizontal rule and there's the compass but only where's the square uh, i don't see it but it, it, it's it's there somewhere Oh, here too, look. There's one quarter missing. And there's three quarters left, so it says the concept of three and four. It means square and compass. Burri. Maybe it's like bur i per a. Pharaoh. It's 
everywhere. If, if I'd look around, you know, I'd find so many things and I don't want to go like looking around there. Uh, it's everywhere. We had the back three Templar V's in red and white, Templar's colors. Oh, there's a queue by the the Trump scam. The queue, it stands for Queen, and the Queen is ISIS. And another square, another red square passing by. It stands for ISIS. It's that Queen. What what they adore. It's the top of the um, the Freemasons, like Trump. Q stands for Queen, right? Hey look, why do you think they put the Q that big, you know, in red and white Templars colors or the the uh, the red house and the white house or Pharaoh, the Per Hetze, the Per Tasser? Because this is the Queen, Q Mr. Trump, the Queen of the Heavens, Isis. There she is, the Queen of the Heavens up there. Hey, look, why does it say the queue, right? The queue of the heavens, it's the queen. Isis, Mr. Trump, in red and white, the Templars colors. Per het and the per tasser. That's Q. It's all a lie, Mr. Trump. It's a scam. One for all and all for one. Where we go one, we go all. Okay, danke. <laughs>